that it's massive fight, you know, obviously it's the biggest fight in my career, world title eliminator. Um, everything's up for grabs as far as I'm concerned. Obviously I've fought for my world titles before, aiming to fight for another world title. Uh, it's the most important fight of my sta stage of my career so far. The two Southpaws have 24 years of pro experience between them and they've both come through tough times to keep alive their dreams. I saw I went a bit stale um, waiting for the European title shot but as soon as that came you know I've upped it, I've um, stepped up to the next level and I'll do that again. I've been up there, got beat, come back down and worked my way back up again so I think we're both meeting at the right time. Thrill a minute more of the favourite, a swarming aggressor who loves to train. The fight is over! It's sensational style! I'm aggressive, I'm a good body puncher, I'm strong, I can punch with both hands. I just think he's got, I've got something to, to, to beat him with, you know, I'm better in every department and that'll show. While sharpshooting Rhodes prefers to counter with Venom. Oh! oh right oh, hand! Oh, oh, he's not going to get up from that! The winner moves on to the world stage. The loser could be finished. Underdog, overdog, it doesn't matter, make one bit of difference to me. Uh, I'm just excited and I'm going into the fight knowing I'm going to win. I'm where I've wanted to be since I turned professional, so no slip ups and uh, you know there isn't going to be any. He's promising no slip ups, getting uh, one or two uh, words of advice from uh, Ricky Hatton there. It is a true British super fight, this. It's got everyone excited, including Hatton. It's an excellent fight, a matchup where both these fighters are finding a, a great part of their career. Jamie Moore is really coming good. He's a European champion and it looks set that he can get a world title fight. But here he's got somebody in front of him who can fight and who can punch. He's played the waiting game. He cannot afford to throw it away now. There's an awful lot at stake, isn't there? You know, he's finally in the place he wants to be after all the waiting. Now he's there. He's this fight away, maybe one more to a world title fight. It's so important. So important for Ryan Rhodes and what has been a remarkable, remarkable career. It really has. You know, he came on the scene a long time ago, 30 years ago, when he first won the British title. He's back again. You wouldn't have thought it a few years ago, but he's reinvented himself and he's done it in style. Are the early rounds vital for him? I think they are. He's got to get in the fight. He's got to let his punches go. He throws them from all sorts of angles. He's got to try and land and land hard early. Well, don't forget, you can watch the action right now. Sky Sports HD1, that's channel 408. Your commentary team, Jim Watt and Adam Smith, after our MC, Gary Logan. Good evening, Five Fans, and a warm welcome to viewers at home. Joining us live and exclusive on Sky Sports Friday Fight Night from the Bolton Arena. You now join us for our feature presentation, The Battle of the Roses. Please welcome Fursi to the ring, your challenger, Ryan Rose. Great buzz here in Bolton. Ryan Rose looking well, and he's had an astonishing journey. It seems a lifetime ago when he burst onto the British scene and became the quickest winner of a Lonsdale belt outright for over 50 years. The shooting star who failed to last. But he's come back from devastating defeats. His desire has seen him rebuild. He's a slick stylist. And this, I guess, Jim, is the acid test of what, Mark 3, Mark 4 of his career? Yeah, he's been written off a couple of times, but keeps going back stronger than ever. He's always been a class act. And the fact that he's still boxing so well after so many years as a pro is a testament to his attitude, the way he leads his life and the way he looks after himself. He still looks in fantastic shape, still performing wonderfully well at domestic level, but tonight he faces a man who we feel is genuine on the class level. He can't match uh, Jamie Moore for natural power, but he throws punches from all angles, punches you don't see coming, which can have the same effect. So he's in with a big chance here, but he is the underdog. Ryan Rhodes waits. What a moment for him in his career. Trained really hard for this. 
and the word has been excellent coming out of the camp is the confidence back on his last seven there's Dave Colwell with him as we wait for Jamie Moore and now ladies and gentlemen and now ladies and gentlemen please welcome to the ring your champion Salford's very own Jamie Moore. The exciting, charismatic Salford Southpaw who has been riding a wave in the last 12 to 18 months. It's all come together for Jamie Moore. Time that my love by the cup work. Blasted his way through hardened European opposition. He's so close to the world title tilt. He craves more than anything in his boxing life. He's followed the traditional route, Jim, and he's on fire. Jim, he's a fighter who has learned the job properly, has made himself into a complete fighter. He knows every aspect of the game. He's tough, he's strong, he can punch, he can fight going forward, he can fight going back. And even when everybody accepted that he did the domestic scene in Britain cleaned up, he was still so proud of his British champion. He took on tricky defences. This is what the man's all about. He does not duck anybody, doesn't dodge anybody, he wants to fight his way to the top, and that's what he's done. Entering a ring for the 36th time, and this is a crunch one. He's two years younger than Ryan Rhodes. They're both so experienced, not much in height. And they're tucked inside the 11 stone limit. Who's made it better? The reach with Jamie Moore. And of course, he's the natural Southport Rhodes to switch hitter. who has been around since 1995. Four rounds and so tight on that knockout percentage. Both can hit early and late. It's that intriguing. Four to one on Jamie Moore. There's been late money on Moore to win by knockout. 13 to eight. You can get 11 to four against Ryan Rhodes. And one or two people fancy that if he can weather the early storm, he's in with a real chance. This contest is sanctioned by the European Boxing Union in conjunction with the British Boxing Board of Control and the World Boxing Council. Your European supervisor and steward in charge is Charles Giles. Your medical supervisor is Dr. Pigney. Your timekeeper is Colin Roberts. The judges at ringside this evening are John Keane of Wellingborough, Marcus McDonnell of Twickenham, and Dave Paris of Leeds. And when the action begins, the third man in the ring will be your referee from Doncaster, Howard Foster. And now, five fans, live on Sky Sports, Friday Fight Night, Fran Maloney in conjunction with proud sponsors, Stan James, CYC.com, Red Square Vodka, BTG and BBE Britannia Boxing proudly presents your main event. The Battle of the Roses, 12 three minute rounds of boxing for the live middleweight championship of Europe and also an eliminator for the WBC world live middleweight title. Introducing to you firstly in the red corner wearing his silver trunks with black trim, he fights out of Sheffield and weighs in at 10 stone, 13 pounds and 8 ounces. He enters the ring with an impressive 46 fight professional record, 42 wins, 28 of those wins coming by way of knockout against only 4 defeats. He comes to the ring tonight as a former two-time British light middleweight champion, currently ranked number seven by the WBC. Please welcome Ryan Rose. We go across the ring to the blue corner where we have your champion wearing the black trunks. He fights out of Salford and weighs in a 10 stone, 13 pounds and eight ounces. He enters the ring with an equally impressive 35 fight record, 32 wins, 24 of those wins coming by way of knockout against only three defeats. He enters the ring tonight as a former two-time British and Commonwealth light middleweight champion. He is currently ranked number three by the WBC. Tonight, he is your reigning European light middleweight champion. Please welcome Jamie Morsey. Twelve three-minute rounds, boxes, please. 
Javi, come on. Okay, lads, you both know the rules. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you watch it. Eds, good luck to you both. Touch gloves. Good luck. One of the best matches anywhere in Britain in 2009. Finally, Jamie Moore and Ryan Rhodes, two light middleweight stalwarts, wonderful servants on the domestic scene over the last decade meet. 74 wins, 52 knockouts between them both in super form and both desperate for a world title crack. Really significant fight with left hand from Jamie Moore who's on a roll of knockout wins and will be looking to start hard and fast. Now Moore's landed with the first two punches he's thrown which is a big surprise there Ryan Ryan Rhodes just put, pushed onto his heel there and I just feel both fighters here tick all the boxes but I feel Moore has a hardness that Rhodes can't match. He can match him for power because he's so surprising with his punches but for sheer raw strength and hardness I think that's where Moore comes out on top and he's imposing himself immediately well, we certainly saw that in the domestic epic against Matthew Macklin he came through a frenetic pace set by the Birmingham man to win in 10 enthralling rounds Woods has a kind of overly relaxed look about himself in the opening rounds. This is better, this is more positive. He seems as though he had it in his mind to box himself into this. You can't do that at this level. Mind on the job. I'm sure the Rhodes camp their tactics will be to keep away from Moore for two or three rounds and then try and outbox him back up the Salford man. A little bit like Scott Dixon did many years ago. Good body shots from Ryan Rhodes. He's got plenty of heart and grit himself. The ups and downs of his career. But he's still with us. Moore seems able to walk into range whenever he pleases this early. Not good signs for Ryan Rhodes. I thought it'd been more tricky. I thought the tricks he learned coming up in the angle gym. He would have employed those early, but he's standing his ground. Moore must be loving this. Reddening already under the right iron, a little bump as well. On the forehead of Ryan Rhodes as Moore just looks to stalk him down and punch through him. Such a huge physical light -like middleweight, Jamie Moore. And Ryan Rhodes has spent years grinding down to the 11 stone limit. Says he feels better than ever, but he's 32 now, Rhodes. That was better, a bit more spite in his punches there, but Moore has so much more of a business-like look about what he's doing here. You can see he's serious, but as Rhodes, a little bit relaxed looking in the opening round. Curling in a body shot, powerful start from Jamie Moore. Not seeing the belief in Rhodes is what that I would like to see. Excellent start for Jamie Moore. Welcome back, the corner of Jamie Moore, Oliver Harrison, who's been with him for many years. Oh, come on. His body's not ready yet. You need to know him up and find the big shots. So come on. Stand Stand up. Up. Stand up. Dave Colwell, so experienced. Also part of that Brendan Ingle camp in Sheffield, where Ryan Rhodes emerged Ryan from, alongside Nassim Hannard and Johnny Nelson. What wonderful times they were. The Spice Boy back in the late 90s. Now a more hardened professional. Still with a slippery style. And the boxing ability. Can he deal with the toughness and the defence of Jamie Moore too? Well, it's a different Ryan Rhodes that's come off the stool for this round. At least he looks as though he's about to set about the business properly. He just looks so relaxed as though when he boxes his way into this. But uh, can he stem the attacks of Moore? Just the round where Ryan Rhodes fell apart in his second world title challenge against Jason Matthews. Good body work from Moore. It's already becoming grueling early. Well, this is definitely the kind of fight that Jamie Moore planned. 
and Ryan Rhodes is obliging. Oliver Harrison is telling him in the corner not to land the heavy shots yet. To more. See, Rhodes think, backing off. I think you need a jab to stop moving these tracks. If you allow him to get close, he's going to do as he pleases. He's so strong. And uh, Rhodes is not trying the jab. He's allowing him to get close and trading with him up close. This is not the tricky Ryan Rhodes that I expected to see. Not quite settled, Rhodes. And Moore just pushing these punches through. Right hand from Rhodes. Since he needs some confidence in these early rounds. Well, they just showed there that he could spring the, the hurtful punches. But uh, I'm surprised with the tactics that he's showing. I expected much more movement. I mean, what Moore's doing is fairly predictable. Not easy, not difficult to solve out. But he's overpowering Rhodes at the moment. He's controlling the ring, Jim. That's what he's doing. Yep, and he's decided what kind of fight this is going to be. Uppercut. One of the favourite punches in the Moore Arsenal. Working the body, Rhodes. That was good under the elbow. I've got a feeling that Moore's just a bit of an on-top fighter. And if they can get through three or four rounds, they can push him back and outbox him. Well, there's the jab I expected to see. As Rhodes uh, tumbled, maybe that's the, the only punch that will stop Moore's march forward. Good body shot. European light middleweight title on the line. He's thrown more, he's landed 10 more. The champion Jamie Moore. It's not been a settled start for Ryan Rhodes in this challenge. The Black Trucks, the family man from Salford with his kids, Mikey and Olivia, Jamie Moore, and Ryan Rhodes in the silver. And you can see the odds, big shift towards Jamie Moore. 12 to 1 on now to when he was 4 to 1 on at the beginning of the fight. Rhodes might have to go through a great deal if he's going to win this. Well, if he wants to stand his ground, that's fair enough. I mean, he's good enough to do that, but he's got to put real stiffness into the punch. He's got some power in. The popping shots are no good. Signs that he's maybe going to start doing that in this round. Former British Commonwealth, and now the European holder, Jamie Moore. Traditional route wants the WBC title. This is an eliminator as well for that belt that Sergio Martinez holds. Nice uppercut inside from Moore. I mean, the crowd are certainly delighted with Rhodes' tactics. This is great stuff to watch. No clinching, just toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Not a clinch. Tremendous punches, hurtful punches from each man. Good body shot from Moore. He has a juicy one there from Jamie Moore. Picked it well. Turning roads. It's that tight defence and the ability to wear opponents down more. See, Already Rhodes, backing up roads. Well, roads are so good at making fighters miss and then catching them cleanly in the chin. But with these tactics, Moore's chin is down between his chest, pumping out the punches. Definitely not the plan. I think Rhodes should have brought in here. Won the European belt in this round against the former world champion at welterweight, Michele Pitanillo, with body shots. And he's starting to plant a couple on Ryan Rhodes. And there's one to the head. And he's shaken here a little Ryan Rhodes. And he's been taken out in three before by Lee Blundell. Can more capitalise? I mean, standing in ground, uh, you know, in range with a leaky defence, 
just asking for trouble. There's a body shot again from Moore. Moore is loving this. The crowd are loving it. The only one who are expects to be changing it is Ryan Rhodes. Finding holes and gaps. Too many of them. Jamie Moore. It's a big session for the champion from Salford in this War of the Roses. Remember when we had this conversation? I know, but listen, I've got you. Listen, remember when we had this conversation, guys? Keep your head This is that one fight when you have to begin, right? But I don't want to be like he's staying on inside. Keep it tight. Turn his fucking elbow up and turn him off. Keep your eyes on him. Well, they knew they were going to have to dig in and hard, and that looked hurtful. Well, I was saying that I reckon Moore had the hardness that Rhodes couldn't match. And uh, Rhodes, with his tactics, is bringing that into play. That's what this fight is all about. Macho toughness is terrific to watch. That is not a complaint. But uh, Ryan Rhodes really wants to be coming up with something else. Already over double the punches landed for Jamie Moore. A war of attrition, star-wise, after only nine minutes. Crowd are loving it, though. Adopting the southpaw stance now, Ryan Rhodes. Body shots from Jamie Moore. And an uppercut too. Trying to stay with him, Rhodes. Well, Adam, if he's going to stand in range, he has to throw hurtful punches. Punches that that will hurt to Jamie Moore, give him something to think about. It's no good standing there with popping little punches. He's going to have to hurt him or change his tactics. 28 knockouts, Ryan Rhodes. Many of those were when he was a youngster. He's had to adapt his style over the last two or three years. The uppercuts from Moore. Big, hefty-looking hooks. He won't want to give up his position now, Jamie Moore. He's worked very hard to be on the threshold of world title challenges. Yep, he's worked so hard, he's waited so long, and you can see how fired up he is here. But full credit to Ryan Rhodes, OK, I don't think the tactics are, are the right ones, but what a fight he's putting up here. This is excellent action. We hope for it, and we're getting it early. Well, Jamie Moore makes a habit of being in the fight of the year. <laughs> this is heading towards another candidate. Those thrillers with Michael Jones, especially the third one. Five knockdowns in that. Rose standing in the pocket. Strange tactics. Left hand jolts him. Is that extra bit of power with more? I mean, I don't know. I'm asking myself, does Ryan really believe he can win this tonight? Or is this about just showing us how tough he is and what a competitor? Because he should be using his skills, he should be using the ring. He's trying to do that now. Interesting you say that, Jamie Moore said beforehand that Ryan Rhodes doesn't believe he can win this fight deep down. You know, that's psychology, but they know each other well, these two. Good friends. But good friends and giving us this. Great stuff. Better from Rhodes. And Moore is just backed up for the first time at the end of the fourth. Look, Moore was hurt with a punch just before that little exchange. Rhodes sensed it and stepped in. Tremendous action this is. This is the fight where you have to dig in, you've got to want it. Right? If you want this, you're going to win this fight. He doesn't right. know what you do, right? Might right. be about that. Who wants it more? Well, at least he showed there he has the power to put Moore, Moore onto his heels. But uh, Moore, with typical character, come back and matched it afterwards. Second out, round five. 
Jamie Watt has been beaten three times. Chances on the disqualification, Michael Jones, Ozzy Duran. Excuse for that, he was injured going into it. But Scott Dixon did him, outlasted him. And Ryan Rhodes just having a surge here. Judges feel Rhodes should be throwing the surprising punches, the ones you don't see coming, not just standing his ground. Uppercut from Jamie Moore. This has already got a bit of the Moore Macklin about it. Toe to toe. Hard shots from both fighters. Well, a lot of huge punches landed and nobody really badly shaken as yet. But once the, the pace, oh, I love the left, the right hook, sorry, from Rhodes. It was an uppercut, a beautiful shot from Ryan Rhodes. Has he weathered the storm? This is interesting. Well, he's in there. Does he feel maybe... Oh, oh what a shot that was. No. I think that was low, Jim. Oh. He's down Ryan Rhodes. You, you must be right, Adam. You must be right. From, from my angle, it looked like a beautiful punch. But you're obviously right. The punch was low. Can I want no more, OK? Howard Foster said he wants no more. Well, he's getting straight on with it, Ryan Rhodes. There's huge respect between the pair and a right hand from Jamie Moore. And that was bang on the chin. But back Rhodes comes. This is already pretty extraordinary, Jim. Well, a lot more confidence in Ryan Rhodes' work in this round. It's now as though he's not just making up the numbers, he's not just showing us how brave he is. It's as though he believes he can win this. Swapping uppercuts. They must have trained so very, very hard and well. You can already see what it means to the pair of them. Victory here. Woods blocking a few more now. Was that low or was that okay? I thought that was just below the elbow line. I don't think it was dangerous below, but probably below the target line. There's just so many punches been thrown here. Some of them have to stray off the target. Jamie Moore was disqualified against Michael Jones for hitting after the break. Keeping him on target here. It's a thrilling session, this the fifth. Both having their successes. Yeah, but no question, there's a big improvement in Ryan Rhodes' work in this round. It's as though he does fancy the job. He believes in himself now. Well, what a finish to the fifth from Ryan Rhodes. Jamie Moore was 12 to 1 on in the odds a few minutes ago. I wonder if that changed. It's going to be the low shot. Yeah, that was well low, well low from my angle, it looked like a tremendous punch, well it was a tremendous punch, but it was well low. I mean, this is unbelievable action, they just, I mean, yep, that's it, well low again, and full credit to Rhodes, he didn't make too much of it. The fact that he's well back in this fight again, he was keen to get back down to action again. Well, Jamie Moore... He's breathing heavily in the corner. And the legs are a, a bit shaky. I know he's worked really hard to keep down at 11 stone. And if he's weak at the weight and Rhodes is improving, he could be in big trouble, Jamie Moore. Second defense of his European title. And Ryan Rhodes. Well, credit to him. He's stuck in there, and he's turning this around. This is a totally different Ryan Rhodes now. These are tremendous punches he's throwing at Moore now. Moore just thought about going orthodox momentarily. He seems to have been in disarray. Jamie Moore, 
Right hand from Rhodes. Cleaner shots now from the Sheffield puncher. Well, Jamie Moore has come through some grueling fights, but uh, there comes a point when you can't do it anymore. Big drive from punches. Rhodes here, Jim. And Jamie Moore. It's not like he may be wobbling on those legs. And not the snap and the punches from Moore. The power shots coming from Rhodes. There's the jab I've been looking for from Rhodes. Well, they're both exchanging and a left hand from Jamie Moore. And that'll give him some confidence and a right as well. Huge punches going in from the pair of them. This is brilliant. Jamie Moore comes up with it yet again. He just has an ability to ignore pain and get on with it. He said, Jim, in the Macklin fight, there was a moment he didn't know whether he could carry on, but he passed that moment. And he said that's all he needed to know. Well, his whole career hinges on it tonight. He's on the verge of a world title fight. This in fact is an eliminator. Well, Rhodes, the one taking the backward step there, has more turned it back in his favour. He certainly landed the more punches in this round. Yeah, just blinking there, Ryan Rhodes. I think one caught him in the eye. Moore cranks up the heat, and now Rose is in bother. Is Moore about to break another heart? Or can Ryan Rhodes dig it out again? So many fans have stood up. Right hand from Rhodes. It's been another amazing session. I mean, Rhodes is taking some tremendous head punches in this round, and he's still there. Well, the spite is back into Moore's punches again. That's the Jamie Moore I know. And now I'm We've been here before, Jamie. Humphrey, listen to me. It's only just coming out. But Jamie, you've got to believe in yourself, man. Yeah. Jamie's the How man. How good you are. You're yeah. the world Moore's champion. The man. This guy is We've coming. We've been him here before, says Oliver Harrison. Look now at the odds. Only three to one on Jamie Moore. Nine to four, Ryan Rhodes. Big shift in those. It's going to come down to fitness, heart and desire. Yeah, well, being a champion is all about digging in and producing what's necessary right at the, the perfect time. And that was the time for Jamie Moore because he was under fire. He was hurt, looked as though his punches had a tired look about them, but he dug in, got himself back on top again. What a tremendous effort from both men in that round. As Ryan Rhodes still got the legs in fight number 47. He's almost 33. With the 26 on his silver shorts, the birthdays of his daughters and wife. Two lovely guys outside of the ring who are giving us a thriller inside it. See, this is what I expected from Rhodes, to move, to move, draw some mistakes, and then use the counter-punching to get a result. But is it... Oh. Up on there for the right hand to Ryan Rhodes! Down goes Jamie Moore! Big, big oh. knockdown! And oh. early in the seventh, can he recover from this? Oh. was a heavy fall, and Ryan Rose stands on the brink of his biggest ever win. Can Moore come back from that? An uppercut from Rose, and two minutes left in the round. Well, Moore's head looks to have cleared, his legs are looking strong, but that's the first time Rhodes used the tactics I expected. Oh, I've shown the credit again for the character. Back comes Jamie Moore, Ryan Rose looking for the angles and this is already probably the domestic fight of the year absolutely superb and more now drives forward if Moore can take this chance away from Rhodes this could be a heartbreaker Rhodes must have felt one punch away from victory 
What a tremendous punch that was. Stubborn resistance and heart from Jamie Moore. What a fight. Yep, he's, his head's clear, his legs are strong, there's power back in his punches. And that's just reminded him, he has to pay full attention to this guy. Oh, look this stuff. Combination from Jamie Moore and Ryan Rose nearly wet his chin. Holds up. A dramatic turnaround in the last minute. What on earth is Jamie Moore made of? Can he come back? Another right hand. The Rhodes held it up there. And Ryan Rhodes will go for it here. Jamie Moore's going to be taken out. Come on, he is. It's an unbelievable win for Ryan Rhodes, who becomes the European champion at 32 after a fantastic scrap. It really was that good. And Ryan Rhodes is very tale story goes on unbelievable Jim well I said at the start I didn't think Ryan Rhodes could match the hardness of Jamie Moore well he's more than matched it here did it the hard way did it the Jamie Moore way fought Jamie Moore's fight so Jamie had every opportunity to move on to where he thought his career was going but what a tremendous performance from both men but especially Ryan Rhodes that's not the way we expected him to box, we expected him to be cute, defensive, phenomenal fight, phenomenal finish. Jamie Moore has been out-toughed, he just couldn't do it this one time. The knockdown must have taken so much out of him. But he recovered from the knockdown and he actually was taking charge again, then for some reason he dropped his hands and looked at Ryan Rhodes and gave him a free shot. And that's the punch that started to finish. He got himself back into control again. That's the knockdown again. I mean, look at the way his legs have reacted to that punch. But he came up onto his knees. He took his time. He looked at the referee. He got his head clear before he stood up. Then got himself back on top again. But then for some reason, he dropped his hands and just seemed to look at Ryan Rhodes. I think this might be the point here. But yeah, man, he just seemed to give Ryan Rhodes a free shot. Yeah, that's when his hands were down. Bang, gave him a free shot, looked straight at him with his defences down. And that's the punch that set him on the road to defeat. Rhodes did not give him a chance. There's the powerful shot, the precise punching, tremendous performance, tremendous result for Ryan Rhodes. Unbelievable, but tremendous. It really was a war of the roses. Ryan Rhodes sucked it up early on and outlast Jamie Moore I mean that was just I don't know if it was a lapse in concentration I don't know if tired was coming into it but he gave him a free shot and Rhodes to his credit took full advantage and when he had him on the, the go didn't let him off it Ryan Rhodes who was written off time and again with his greatest night in boxing Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 35 seconds of an enthralling contest in the seventh round, Howard Foster stops the contest. Jamie Moore in no position to continue. Your winner from Sheffield and new European light middleweight champion, the Spice Boy, Ryan Rhodes. Ryan Rhodes celebrates. A stunned crowd here in Bolton will be talking to the winner in just a few moments' time. We'll get the thoughts of the fight of the year. Ryan Rhodes, European champion, puts Jamie Moore down in the seventh and stops him in the same round. We can hear from both fighters. Talking to Ed Robinson. Ryan, a massive win for you knocking out Jamie Moore. Has it sunk in yet? Probably not. No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. I came up to Bolton to Jamie's back garden. I knew, I said to everybody, it's going to be a tough fight, but I just thought I'd take over. So I knew first half of the fight were going to be tough, but second half I thought I'd take over. After the first round and they were pressuring me, I thought, I've got to change the game plan here. I've got to stand and, and, and tuck up, take everything he throws and come back with my shots. Because I knew he'd be on me all night if I was on my back and I'd waste, waste energy. Jamie, brave effort as always. What went wrong tonight for you? 
Well, obviously the better man won at the end of the day, you know. We had a game plan, didn't quite work out. I wasn't on my game, but you know, not trying to take any from, any, anything away from him. He performed out of his skin. He fought me at my own game and beat me. What can you say? Fair play to him. Was the weight an issue? Uh, maybe, but you know, I don't, I don't really want to discuss that while I um, take away from Ryan's funder. You know, he's beat me fair and square and that's it. Ryan, 12 years after first fighting for world title, if you get the chance, can you win it this time around? Of course I can, of course I can. Um, like I said, fighting Jamie Moore, two best light middleweights in Britain fought each other tonight. We both could have gone different routes, but we both chose to fight each other. And, and hopefully, as next fight, the winner we're going to fight for a world title. I've won tonight, let's see if I can fight for a world title. But utmost respect to Jamie Moore, I've followed him for years. I hope he comes back at middleweight. If the weight was a problem, I'd like him to come back at middleweight and have a rematch with uh, Macklin. Yeah. yeah. Well done, both of you. Great fight. <laughs>